Hello, this is a troubleshooting video for the Novation Base Station 2. The analog synth by Novation. Alright, so you've got your thing plugged in. You can plug it into uh, the wall. You can plug it into your computer for power, whichever you prefer. And it doesn't really matter. The only benefit to plugging it into the PC is that you get uh, MIDI options. You can save presets. And that's really all it is because. If you're saving your audio to your computer, you got to uh, use an audio interface if you're uh, actually recording the signal. So what I have here is um, FL Studio and um, some KRK5s, the cheap ones. So uh, what I did was, first off, I bought this thing and I plugged it in to this Marshall amp and I didn't realize that I needed a bunch of other stuff to record to the computer so after I figured out what I needed I did some research I got these uh, two speakers here uh, about 300 bucks and this uh, audio interface it's a Focusrite uh, 2i2 I believe a Scarlett 2i2 and it does the job I guess I don't know much about quality but um, all it really does is it says looks at the signal here and as you can see, it's plugged into the front, and in the back, you'll see two line outs, or, yeah, two line outs that go to the speakers. Um, well, the speakers are what plays it, but this also has a USB, a little silver thing right there, so the signal goes out to your PC and it goes out to the speakers. So that's how it gets recorded. So once you set up your, your setup, set up your setup. Um, you go into FL Studio, press F10. Make sure you have um, under audio, you go to ASIO for all V2. Should come with FL Studio. And if it doesn't come with your uh, DAW, you can look it up and it's for free so there's really no reason not to get it, I suppose. I don't know what's better than it right now, so. Uh, anyway, you set up your thingy. Alright, so first off, you should get no sound. And you're like, why isn't it playing? Everything's set up. Well, what you can do to go into uh, go into Windows, you go to the bottom right corner, you see a little speaker icon. You click record, uh, recording devices, and this comes up. Um, it's not going to look the same as mine. But you see recording here, you scroll down to uh, line in so you can enable that uh, I guess that's whatever analog synths are weird um, anyway that would play but you'll get some noticeable delay because it's going through your Windows driver or I don't know it's not going through ASIO which is the low latency driver so what you have to do is when you have FL Studio or your uh, Ableton Logic Pro, Pro Tools, whatever you use just make sure you're using the ASIO um, driver. So when you have that selected, go into your mixer or whatever your recording panel is. And I'm just using uh, Insert One, which is just an empty, empty mixer track. And you select um, mono. I just like it says USB one and two. Um, I just use one because if you use stereo, uh, it'll come out one side. So if you do this, it comes out both speakers correctly. Uh, I don't know if you could hear me. It comes out both speakers correctly. Let me change this. Something not... Okay, yeah. So when I play the keys... It's very low. Very low latency. Like, it plays it as if it was plugged into that amp over there. So yeah, um, if you want to record, I don't know what you'd really use for other things, but you can just, uh, as you have Scarlett 202 USB 1 playing through here, you can select an Edison thingamabob, and you just click record, and you start pressing notes, and then it records, and you can click stop, 
and you can just drag what you've recorded with this you can drag that in or you can just click this button here and it adds it as a sample right there so you can do that or of course you can drag it into whatever feature you want so if you want to like uh, granulize it you just open fruit granulizer drag it into the granulizer if you want to slice it you put that into the slicer as well <clears throat> um I guess pretty simple stuff it just I think a lot of people don't realize that you kind of have to set it up this way and if you do have any other uh, setups just uh, let me know <laughs> alright um, I think that's it uh, if I have any other synthesizer videos I might put those up alright thanks uh, for watching and see you guys next time